Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aaron Cohen from Goodman Campbell Brennan Spine in Indiana University Department of Neurosurgery. I would like to uh, welcome all of you guys this evening for joining us for this presentation, which will be a discussion regarding advances in vascular microsurgery with some emphasis on description of application of fluorescent based intraoperative video angiography. I'm going to go ahead and call this fluorescence based angiography from now on as ICG. Uh, and that stands for uh, um, endocyanin green dye. So what is this technology of ICG? It really technically is a method by injecting the dye into the vessels and being able to evaluate by lighting up the vessels through the microscope. In other words, the microscope will only see the dye and will be able to tell us how the vessels look and how if the aneurysm or avian is still there. Uh, we'll start with a description of the um, 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 disclosure, none of which really interferes with the presentation this evening. Um, so what is the basic mechanism of ICG? Is uh, We inject a dye into the vessel, and uh, the anesthesiologist usually does that, and that binds to some of the proteins in the vessel. And eventually, as the blood reaches in the brain, or the area of the uh, surgery, the light from the microscope causes a special camera to only see the vessels. And that's really an intraoperative angiogram through the microscope, only lighting up the vessels and nothing else. So what are the applications? Well, treatment of the vascular disease of the brain spinal cord, where we, can, we need to see the vessels very well, such as aneurysms, AVMs, and revascularization surgery. So what about aneurysms? Well, if the aneurysm is clipped, we want to make sure the aneurysm is obliterated so there is no dye that goes into it. So that's one mechanism for aneurysms. The other one is we want to make sure the clip doesn't cause any parent vessel compromise. So by doing the intraoperative angiography, you can assure that the vessel or the parent vessel is patent. And we're going to go through some of the additional applications of ICG, and that includes assurance of a retrograde collaterals if you're doing trapping of the segment of the vessel that is involved with the aneurysm. And also, you can push the limits of ICG and assess the degree of flow, as you will see in some of the videos momentarily. So how about the AVMs? It's very simple. If you inject a dye and you don't see the dye around the resection cavity, the AVM is gone. And that's a good application for ICG in terms of AVMs. How about bypass? If you see good dye going through around through the vessels and the bypass graft, that means your graft is patent. And it's immediate. It can give you really a, a immediate feedback without waiting for an intraoperative angiography. So what are the advantages? Again, there is no interruption of surgical workflow because you're using your own microscope to assess the vessels and do an angiogram. And uh, there is an immediate correction of suboptimal clip, clip result because you can see right away if the clip is um, compromising the parent vessel and potentially that could decrease the risk of postoperative ischemia. And it has a high temporal and spatial resolution because it's very immediate and you can see the flow as it starts through the vessels. And it's very easy to use and potentially could decrease the need post for postoperative angiography. What are the disadvantages of ICG? The structure has to be visible in order for us to assess its uh, you know, patency or its compromise through the intraoperative ICG angiogram. And sometimes not all the aneurysm may be visible through the microscope, and that can compromise the degree of assessment through the ICG. And more importantly, calcifications or thrombi may not allow the camera to see through the vessels and see the dye. And therefore, that can be a problem and can mistakenly lead the surgeon to believe that the flow is compromised. So let's talk about ICG. And again, the uh, Zeiss microscopes that I use have, are very well equipped to this device. And um, uh, I have found it personally very useful. Let's go ahead very quickly and go through some case presentations. Let's talk about first some aneurysms and see how ICG can help. Let's start with the case of a 43-year-old male with an incidental 1-centimeter left MCA aneurysm. Um, 